All right, there's the box. Just barely finished pulling out this Magneto X. So setup is pretty simple and I feel like it was worth making uh, another video. There's been a couple unboxing videos. Basically cut all the zip ties, take out your yellow spacers. You wanna use the of the two so you can screw up or down whatever the Z motors so you can set the bed height, bed twists up and out, keeps the cable at the back there. And then it'll set onto these, put in the bed springs, and then that's how your filament roller gets set up. Screen gets bolted on. Oh, pull the cap off the webcam there and plug in the screen. Now before powering it up, you do wanna make sure the print head is in the center. Also, these bed springs, once you get it all set on and just a couple threads in by hand, the instructions say to tighten it down completely, but other people have said to keep it somewhat loose, so I just backed mine off like a half, half, ugh, a half turn uh, because the bed needs room to shift as it heats and cools. So we'll see how that goes. Don't quote me on that or any of this really. I'm just summarizing the setup. Um, do it at your own risk. <laughs> so when it's before powering on as well, you wanna make sure that the X axis moves freely and the Y axis. So my machine, there was actually quite a bit of binding. It, it was pretty smooth, like right here, just in the center but coming out towards both ends, it bound up really bad and was like shaking and stuff, just trying to move it by hand. So my cousin was here helping me. We actually loosened this rail and then loosened that linear rail and it was still pretty bad. So we went and loosened these carriage bolts so those could shift around. And we actually found that these two screws here on the end of the carriage uh, to hold the cable chain they're, so they're M3 by 10 that are in there. I don't know if you can see, but they were only holding on by like one thread. And so those were actually already stripped out when we got the machine. Um, so we went and at the end put M3 by 12s in there and they didn't bottom out or anything that's holding good now. So um, double check that on yours. But yeah, we had to loosen all the rails, the carriage, for the linear rails and then this mount here is actually what we think was rubbing uh because when it was shipped i don't know if it's good now it's hard to get in there with the spool holder let's see but this side over here was actually like way closer than that side of whatever you want to call this piece of the gantry that mounts to the carriage and so we think it was scraping right there but once all that got loosened up and the carriages and the linear rails and moved it back and forth a couple times it's moving quite nicely now so you'll want to double check that on yours i'm assuming they check that and it's set up nicely before shipment but it probably got banged around in shipping and so that could have tweaked things so that's the only thing that I guess we really had an issue with during the physical building setup of the machine. And I think that's about it as far as assembling the machine. I just have the cover off right here uh, for cooling while I'm doing some test prints. Now to get the machine up and going, it'll, I guess, turn on. Initial startup should kind of do this thing might have to go through this a couple power cycles to get to this screen though. And then once it's actually to the main menu, once everything's loaded up, you will want to come in to actions, move, and quad gantry level. It'll need to heat up and all that. Um, you might have to run two cycles of the quad gantry level just because it can only move so far when it's trying to adjust those Z points on each of the four corners. 
And then, of course, once the quad gantry level is done, then you'll want to go in and set your bed mesh so it can have something set up. Also, my screen might look a little bit different just because I came in here and changed the uh, icon theme right there. So it's normally on this Z bolt. Uh, your Wi Fi won't work out of the box, or at least mine didn't. This is probably one of the first uh, production machines, I would say, when they actually like opened it up for production. So. You'll have to pull out the SD card there, rip the glue off stuff. Best to do it while it's turned off, obviously. Hopefully, obviously. Um, <clears throat> to get the Wi-Fi to work, you'll have to put in the SD card. This is what it'll look like. You'll then open up this network config. Come down here. And this will uh, need to be changed to a zero and then a one to enable the Wi-Fi. And then you'll have to type in your network name and Wi-Fi password right there and change the country code to US. So all I'm doing is trying to speed up and summarize the directions. Obviously you should still skim through it on your own. Then what you'll need to do once you're connected to Wi-Fi, I'm not gonna show it, but type in your IP address into the web browser. So I'm just in Google Chrome right now. You go over to the machine, you go down to Toolhead, and again, you should double check, don't go off just my video. My extruder settings, you have to go in and change, or double check that this is changed to negative 60 and it says 300 on there, but mine was at 310, so I just left that. How it was. And then I want you to come down here to the filament run out stuff and just make sure that there's this uh, pound key or hashtag, whatever you want to say, right there. Um, just so that's all set up. And then you can go in to Orca Slicer add the magneto, and then type in your IP to the Wi-Fi here. Yeah, then you'll have all these settings. I was already trying to break it going super fast, so I'll post a video to that here soon. So that's just getting it unboxed real quick, and then of course sitting here, it has an issue with Clipper. But anyways, that's about all there is, I guess, hooking up your boat and tube, whatnot. And mine had to be shut down and restarted a couple times. And then it worked good so far, I guess other than the screen blanking out, but I'm kind of jinxing myself now.